In June 2011, the UN Food and Agricultural Organization, or FAO, duly recognized Nodul Satoyama and Sato Umi in Ichikawa Prefecture, and Sato's Satoyama in harmony with the Japanese crested ibis in Niigata Prefecture as World Agricultural Heritage Sites, officially known as GS, Globally Important Agricultural Heritage Systems. What exactly is Noto Satoyama, Sato Umi? We will introduce this concept in the following narration. The Noto Peninsula is the northern part of Ishikawa Prefecture, which protrudes out into the Sea of Japan. Most of this land consists of areas which we now designate as Satoyama. Satoyama areas, environments which are formed and maintained as a result of human activities, include rice paddies, farmlands, water channels, reservoirs, and secondary forests. Not only do Satoyama regions provide places to live and produce food, but these areas also offer sources of fuel in the form of firewood and charcoal. In addition, many of the species with which we feel an intimate connection, the killifish, the diving beetle, the dragonfly, inhabit the Satoyama created by the moderate interaction between humankind and surrounding landscapes. Previously, the crested ibis, a naturally protected natural species of Japan, also inhabited the Satoyama. The Noto Peninsula, replete with rice paddies providing an abundance of weather fish and other sources of nourishment, was the last place on the main island of Japan in which wild crested ibises could be found. もちろんね、日本だけじゃないと思うんですけどね。あの、韓国にも中国にもですね、自然を上手に使って長年にわたってね、ずっと農業とか水産やってくるのあると思うんです。ま、しかし、あの、日本のね、里山里見というのはその中
As the forests of the sea, seaweed beds grow in areas of the ocean penetrated by sunlight. These seaweed beds are important treasuries of life, since many fish and crustaceans, such as shrimp, lay their eggs here. Basking in the rays of the sun, seaweed beds perform photosynthesis, which in turn supplies the water with oxygen, purifying the surrounding seawater and supporting the aquatic ecosystem. In this way, seaweed sustains the life of many organisms. The prevalence of these seaweed beds across its waters means that the Noda Peninsula is blessed with a rich harvest of the sea. Ways of life arising from Sato Umi and Sato Yama are deeply bound to the spiritual nature of Japanese people. In 2009, a traditional practice of the Noda Peninsula, passed down from ancient times, was recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural asset. It is called the Aino Koto. In this ritual of Aino Koto, every year, to celebrate the rice harvest, the deity of the rice paddy is invited to the farmer's homes to share in the fruits of the bounty. This sacred ceremony, a rare practice in East Asia, celebrates the close ties between agriculture and nature. In Aino Koto, the deity of the rice paddy is invited into the homes of the farmers, and each household welcomes the deity in its own unique way. The one thing that is common to all is that the head of the house speaks formally to the deity, describing in detail the hospitality he is receiving. The formality may even seem excessive, but there is a reason for this. The deity of the rice paddy is said to be blind. One legend says that his eyes were damaged by an ear of rice. So the head of the household goes to the rice paddy to carefully and politely guide the deity to his home, making sure the deity won't stumble along the way and that he won't trip over the threshold of the doorway when entering the house. Deeply connected to its history, such careful consideration and attentiveness have become well-refined features of the Noto. This warmth of spirit led to the saying, from the beginning to the end of life, penetrating to the very depths of its soil, kindness is rooted in the Noto. Such reverence for nature, giving it thanks and treating it as a deity, is not limited to the deity of the rice paddy in Satoyama. In Wajima City, the Ebisuko Festival is held every year on November 20th and January 10th, and a Shinto ritual is performed to pray for safety on the sea and a bountiful catch. In November's observance of the festival, the deity coming from the sea is greeted and given thanks for his blessings. In January, the deity then is sent back to the sea, signaling the official beginning of the fishing season. Also in the beginning of the year, the female divers of Wajima offer tools necessary for fishing to the deity and pray for safety and a good catch. The people of Sato Umi live in harmony with the sea. Here, they face the sea with gratitude and the will to live. In October 2010, the 10th conference of the parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity was held in Nagoya City and the International Partnership for the Satoyama Initiative, which called for further development of Satoyama and Sato Umi in order to renew the bonds between man and nature, was launched. Each attendee country's respective governmental body acknowledged the proposal and pledged to lend a hand in collaborative efforts towards this initiative. This recent designation of Noto Sato Umi and Satoyama as GS, globally important agricultural heritage systems, can be seen as stemming from the broader Satoyama initiative movement. Satoyama, Sato Umi, serves as an important model of humankind's harmony with nature to create societies in which the gifts of biodiversity are protected and obtained sustainably. In the Noto Peninsula, Satoyama, Sato Umi areas still retain a strong presence and have been solidly preserved to the present age. But yet, how do we continue the protection of this rich and abundant natural environment into the next generation? This will most likely become a crucial life mission for us, 
as humans sharing this earth. <laughs>